Hello everyone, it's David from Valued here. In this video, we're going to take a little look at the new expense claims function within Xero. Now this is a separate um, tool, which is paid for outside of your base subscription. And again, once you've set that up for each user who will require it, it's really easy for them to use. We're gonna have a look at both the desktop application and at the mobile app as well. And let's start with just the desktop itself. Once we've got this um, set up on each user's profile, it is very easy for them to access and use. If we come to the business tab at the top, we can click on the drop down list and select expense claims. Within there, we then have the option to see what expense claims we ourselves have put in. If we are only invited into the expenses section, then that's all we can see in terms of these tabs at the top. However, if we have other permissions, permissions to be able to review and pay items as you see at the top, then we will have these additional tabs. It's very simple to set up expense claims. There's not that many settings to look at. If we click on this cog icon, we'll be taken into this settings section, and we can see under general settings, the first thing that we've got access to is the ability to enable receipt processing. Now that is, absolutely wonderful because this takes all of the heavy lifting away from you and Xero will actually analyze the receipts for you. And what it will then do is fill in all of the information within the expense claim item that you've submitted. We also have access within here to modify the ability to access the system for each user. So again, if we don't want people to be able to approve or to pay, we can certainly change those settings in here. We also have a list of your various expense accounts, and we can choose which of these are going to be available to use as part of an expense claim. If we want another one, we simply tick the box and it will then add that into the list. And finally, we've got the option to have a list of labels available. Labels we'll see a little bit more of when we come to add in an expense claim item just now, but if we want to preload a list of labels, we can do so here simply by adding in an item with a description just in here. So again, as soon as we save that, we've got our new label. So let's come back to the expenses section. I can see that I currently have one item in my expense claims. I've submitted it and therefore it's in review. It's not incomplete. Because it's been submitted, its value is sitting in this section and currently it is not approved either but it's very easy for me to add in a new item. When I click on new expense, within here, the first thing I would want to do is to upload an image that I would have taken of the receipt or the invoice in question. So when I click in here, I can select my image and I can use the little icon at the bottom to edit this image, and in this case, just rotate it so that it's the right way up. And then currently, because of the method that I'm employing here, and this is the desktop, application, I would have to then manually enter the details. So this is going to be, again, just like all men can't talk and type at the same time. And I would fill in my date. And I would fill in who it was from. This gets rather clever because it will find my address, my company, who I've spent with. I can say which account it was for. I'm just going to put that to office equipment. If I'm using tracking categories, then I can include that here as well. And if I want to assign this as a billable expense to a customer, I can also do so with this option. Then I've got the option of a label to apply. So here I've got those preloaded labels, or I could type something in here of my own choosing. I'm just going to select office, re office refit at the minute. And then finally, I've got the amount that I want to include. So once I've put that in, you can see that I have an itemize option there. If I had several different lines on this receipt or bill, then I can click into here and I can continue to add lines to this. It's really very straightforward. Um, if I want to go back to the original style of form, I simply click on switch to simple form and I'm back to where I began. Once I'm happy with the details there, I could save this as a draft if I need to do anything further to it, or as I'm about to right now, I'm going to submit that. Not everybody will have access to the approve option there. 
So once this has been submitted, it's then adding to that submitted total that I have, and we can see the items are now both sitting there. So as we can see, really easy at that stage to enter a new item. I'm going to have a look and see what this looks like with the mobile app. So again, from here, I'm going to share my mobile phone. So that should come up now. And I'm going to click on to the expenses app. If you're using two-factor authentication, then it will include this as well. And it will ask you for your code. Here I can see any items that I've already submitted. But then what I can also do is I can take a photograph of my receipt. Let's see if I can get that. And with the option to an analyze these receipts, if I use save for later, then the system will actually deal with that for me. So I'm going to leave that completely alone now. That's all done. I'm going to share my desktop again now. So that should be shared again. And what we will see is if I refresh my screen, it should then show, there we go, I've got one item in processing. So that is then going to arrive as an incomplete item once it's finished. I won't have had to add any physical data to it myself. It's simply going to deal with that for me. It will extract who it's for, how much it was, the date, etc., and we'll see that in a little bit. So once we've got our claims through, how do we then review them? If we've got permission, we click onto the review tab. And within here, I can either click into an item and see the content of it. If I'm happy with it, I can approve it or I could decline it. I could even delete it at this point. Or if necessary, I could edit it and change some of the details. I'm going to approve that one for now. And again, this brings me back to the list of items. I also, within here, can click on the hamburger menu and I can select which option I wish to use from the drop down list. So once these have been processed or approved, we can see that they're now ready for payment. So I can then choose to either pay them together or individually. It's entirely at my discretion. And you can see that what this is doing is adding this as a bill. It's adding it with me as the contact, because it's me who submitted the expense claim. And all I would need to do at this point, I could simply add my payment details to the bottom of this, or I can accept the fact that this is now ready and waiting for me to pay it out. If I come back to my expense claim section, it's just then a matter of working through this. I can look at all my expenses and see that I've got some that are approved and some that are still just submitted. I could look at this Explorer option and it will actually break down what I've got in different account codes and by color coding them, show me whether they're approved or simply submitted. If I'm adding a new expense claim, and again, if I've got permission to do so, then where it says sent by at the top, I can actually choose to submit these for a different person in the business. So if I'm a, um, an admin team member and people pass their receipts to me, I could technically put these in on behalf of other people. So there's a lot of easy functionality within expense claims. And again, if it's something that you would like to know more about, please drop us a line or give us a call. And thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.